<laughs> All right, everyone. So I just got back from the morning food pantry. So here is what we received today. Again, a reminder to those that are new. Uh, this is a walk-in, so we choose what we want. So everything you see is something we will use. All right, so let's just start over here. We got four more cans of soda, uh, some Pepsi. And then we got two boxes of this mac and cheese with the, the uh, squeezable cheese, a uh, box of Bisquick, and a box of Rice Krispies. We don't necessarily need the cereal to eat as cereal, but I do have some marshmallows to use. And I thought maybe to make some uh, Rice Krispie treats for those. All right, and we got a Nor's uh, Fiesta Sides. It's Mexican rice. We got a pound of ground beef. A can of beef broth, a can of refried beans, uh, beef consomme, uh, tomato soup, actually two cans of tomato soup, and a can of cream of chicken, and a jar of peanut butter. So that's everything that was there. And, yeah, again, sometimes they, they have more some weeks than others, but it's a blessing altogether, so no matter what. So yeah, everything you see here is something we're going to use at one point or another. So, And later on, I'll be going to the other food pantry, so we'll have that one as well today. All right, everyone, so I just got back from the second food pantry for the day, and here is the haul, and after I go over this, I got some breads to show you, so let's just get into it. We have uh, some chicken thighs right here. I think there might be four in there. So we're actually just going to have these tonight. I did have chicken uh, thigh dinner on the meal plan for this weekend. Uh, we'll just push it up to today. And I'll be making some mashed potatoes and other stuff to go with it. So we got some chicken thighs. Over here we got a bag of garden salad. Uh, some peaches. We got some lemon cookies. They're really soft. As you can see, we already ate some of it. Uh, we got some butter, which is nice. And a half gallon of milk. We got some string cheese, and Glenn already ate two of them. One. Oh, one. Well, he, has, he had two of them. And got some crunch berries, and cream of chicken, and green beans. Got some taco shells. And I think these are the Aldi brand, Casa Mamita, and some taco seasoning. And I don't, did I mention the broccoli? Did I mention the broccoli? No. Uh, we got some broccoli too. So what I think I'm going to do with the broccoli, instead of serving it as a side item for a meal, uh, I think I'm going to save it for a broccoli salad. I'll just have to pick up some cauliflower and just make a broccoli salad with that. So that'll be for that. Uh, so we already got plans for all this stuff. Chicken tonight, broccoli for a broccoli salad. Obviously those will be for some tacos. And uh, these will just go in our canned can good stock up. And yeah, cereal to eat, butter I'll be using soon. Uh, the peaches, we usually, as uh, I showed you before, we usually like to wait till they're softer and peel them and put them in milk and sugar but I also like to eat them just like that too if they're nice and sweet so we'll see what they taste like and then when I saw the garden salad bag I just kind of felt like having to sell it so <laughs> all right so let me put this all in the bag I'm outside in the garage right now so I got to put it back in the bag and then take it in the house all right so here is the bread that we received from the food pantry and these are the packs with those two long loaves in them. And yeah, they were really good. So, and I froze them last time and they thawed out really nice. They were still super soft. And I chose one, but they were really trying to push the bread out the door today. So they asked if I would take another. So I did. And I'll just throw it both. Actually, I'm going to throw them both in the freezer because uh, I don't have any plans for them right now. So I'll throw these in the freezer. And we got a 12-pack of hard rolls. Um, they're thawing out right now, So, but these are good for, like, sandwiches. Glenn likes sandwiches on hard rolls, and they could be good for breakfast sandwiches too. So, all right, so 
yeah, that is the food pantry haul. That is both of them for this week. So I'll be going in shortly to put food away and, um, yeah. So anyway, um, yeah, stay tuned. All right, everyone. So, um, we're just having an afternoon snack. I just made some de deviled eggs and left some as hard boiled eggs for snacks. Uh, so yeah, I'm just going to eat this and then I got to get the video edited with the friend mail on it and get it uploaded today. So, so yeah, I'm going to eat my uh, deviled eggs now. All right, everyone. So here is our supper for this Thursday night. Uh, this is the chicken dinner I had on the meal plan for Saturday. We just bumped it up a couple days because we got that chicken from the pantry this morning, which it was already thawing out. So we figured we eat it right away. So we got cornflake coated uh, chicken thighs, uh, mashed potatoes, gravy, corn, and those are candied yams straight from a can. So, all right, I'm going to sit down and enjoy. And Morning, everyone. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to a new day. It is Friday morning. And what time is it, babe? Uh, 10.45. Oh, it's 10.45 in the morning, 72 degrees sunny blue skies but there's some clouds in the to the west of us but it's beautiful morning and we are outside we got outside about 8 30 this morning and we have a chipmunk here eating sunflower seeds but <laughs> um i'm gonna cook outside I'm, I'm gonna cook breakfast we're gonna have some bacon and eggs and i figured well we're not going camping using the stuff that way so might as well bring it in the garage and cook outside. So I'll show you what I got set up here. All right, so we've got our camp stove here. Uh, I bought the, I brought out the biggest frying pan because I'm going to cook some bacon in it. And then once I take the bacon out, I'll cook the eggs in it. So I'm trying not to use two pans. And over here, we've got some eggs, bacon, plates, forks. I got to get the butter out of the other refrigerator and yeah, just bacon and eggs for a late breakfast and I'm cooking at the back of the garage door and that way I could look out to the backyard. All right, so let's get to it. All right, so let's see how much bacon we can fit in here. Yeah, it's a beautiful morning. I don't think we're going to get real warm today. So this past week, speaking of the weather, <laughs> this past week we have had a couple of really hot days uh, into the 90s. And the humidity was just crazy. It was, I think the dew point reached uh, almost 70 or did reach 70. And that humidity or stickiness in the air comes from that dew point. Uh, when you're looking at your weather, the humidity is what the rain comes from, and the dew point is what the stickiness comes from. So we had uh, anywhere less than 60 on the dew point. You're not going to get any stickiness in the air, no humidity. Um, but... Between 60 and 65 is eh, a little okay, I guess. But once you reach over 65 on the dew point, it gets sticky. And it got sticky. Okay, so yeah, anyway, uh, the question was asked uh, if it gets... I think uh, the question was, uh, does it get humid here? Or what's the weather like here in the summer? So here in Wisconsin, at least where we live... It's, it's hit and miss what you get. So there's years that it's been kind of cool all the way through June, which is fine with me. But we will get spurts in the summertime where we get extreme heat. And when I say extreme heat for us, it's in the 90s. Um, but even if it reaches like higher 80s, if we get that dew point then it's going to be real sticky. So we don't have that all summer long, it, and it could change from year to year. So, yeah, we'll get, we just had a spurt this past week where uh, 
it was 90, lower 90s, but the dew point was really high, so it was very sticky in the air. But it, it lasted like two days. So now today it's like high of 74, I think. And there's no, the dew point is less than 60, which is no stickiness in the air. And it is absolutely beautiful. So our summers here in Wisconsin range. <laughs> uh, we, it just, you know, it could be a mild summer. I know like in places in the south, it's always hot. I think it is. <laughs> but here in Wisconsin, more northern, uh, we can have different summers from time to time. I remember a summer, uh, I don't know, maybe five years ago, maybe more. It was hot and sticky from June nonstop all the way through summer. And that, that summer was miserable. And then we've had summers where... We've had cool weather, like barely reaching 70, and that was that's great for me. And a day like today, 74, 75 maybe, no stickiness in the air, beautiful sunshine, and it's a perfect day. So, slight breeze. So, yeah, our summers will range, and uh, but it could change on the drop of a dime. You know, it could be beautiful right now. And in the next 15, 30 minutes, clouds can uh, come in and thunderstorm. It's not, it's not supposed to do that today, but you never know. So, yeah, we don't have complete hot and sticky uh, weather through the entire st summer, but it could change any time. So uh, I'd rather have the mild 60 to 70 <laughs> temperatures. Um, but Glenn doesn't mind the, the heat too much. He could probably handle it a little better than I can. So, yeah, that's what our summers have been like. And that's what it's like this summer. That was, I think, our first bout of real heat. And uh, But uh, last week, uh, speaking of, uh, somebody had commented that they just live south of us. And the air quality, uh, due to the Canadian fires, we actually had poor air quality alerts last week and I think it went on for like two or three days but the first day was so extreme that it was just smoky outside and you could actually smell the fires in the air that was that was crazy and then the second day and the third day um second day was a little better but the third day was a lot better but that first day oh it was horrible so, yeah, I can't imagine what the folks in Canada and all the more northern uh, states are going through. So, if you're in Canada affected by those fires, I, I hope they're dying down and I hope you uh, got through it okay. But, yeah, we had a very poor air quality last week. So, but now, looks like it's back to normal. I'm going to turn up my burner here. So yeah, just a little bit on our summers and what it gets like here. All right, everyone, so here is breakfast on this Friday morning, so stay tuned. I'm not sure what I'm doing yet.